Indigestion has to do with the human body. The process of eating and digestion is such a fascinating thing because without it, human being cannot live. It's very essential uh, activity. But somehow you don't want to hear the sound of your stomach. This music that I composed for a far cry I would describe it as something that contains lots of noise. The piece is comprised of the violin, viola, cello, and bass versions of the sounds that our body makes when, when it's digesting. I started off by uh, listening the sound of my stomach with a stethoscope, but it turned out that uh, I could never get a clean sound of stomach itself, just by itself. So I found this recording made by somebody else. <laughs> As we are first approaching the piece, it is, it's funny. <laughs> Some of the effects that she's got us doing on our instruments are just really, really challenging to do, actually. Maybe a bit more like bouncing, if you bounce. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 do you want that rhythm to be heard? Like, um, like, yeah, no, no, no. I, or no, just it's like... More, uh, it's more like leaning towards the... Uh, is this the right sound? Um, I I need more. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, I asked so. the double bass players to do a lot of things, <laughs> making lots of noise. <laughs> In terms of pitch-wise, it's the most similar instrument that could produce a stomach sound. So I asked the players, double bass players, to play the tailpiece to produce very low sound. For a couple of passages, she has the bassists specifically put these large clips. They're kind of like the alligator clips that you, if you had like a document with a hundred pages, you'd get a big alligator clip to clip it together. So we actually put those on our lowest string down by the bridge. You bow the note and it starts to rattle. One. That was great. Can we? I mean, she's very passionate about writing music that has to do with the human body, that this is sort of a theme in her work. And you, you feel the seriousness in sort of the meticulous nature of the score. You, you, know, you, you really sense that a lot of thought and a lot of hard work went into it. You know, she made her own notation for this piece. She made, I think, three or four new clefs that you won't find anywhere else, you know, it doesn't matter what treatise you're looking at for music, you won't find these clefs because she invented them. <laughs> Having to do with bow placement between the nut and the bridge, which changes the sound, but it's not normally addressed specifically in a clef. Um, we change bows on our... 
Maybe, I mean, maybe I can just give a visual. Also, here. behind the bridge, we have the main strings, which you see, but then we also have a little bit of remainder string between the bridge and the tailpiece, so they kind of sound like, on a bass, they're kind of like, king, goom, 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 and on a violin, they're like, pick, 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 pick. <laughs> I think so. I think um, initially it's really important to have this pulse. Uh, right. It's just, um, I, don't, I, I know this music is very difficult to coordinate, so I think it is helping. Yeah. The piece yeah. has elements of fun in it, and I think you know, she must have been thinking about that sort of writing for our ensemble, sort of knowing that, you know, we're a younger group and, you know, we like to party and, and goof around and stuff like that. Jesse does it better than I do. He really wants to demonstrate it right now. It's um, but, thanks, Jesse. This piece, although it has challenging elements, ideally is sort of like, you know, a, a sonic playground for us. The harmony of this <laughs> is based on the spectral analysis I did on the recording of the stomach sound. Oh, for instance, measure 32 and measure 34. The spectrograph comes in the spectral analysis of her stomach rumble. Um, starts. We start playing it, and it, it, it starts with a, a unison all together. <laughs> Combining that kind of figure, the with this kind of you know machine-made analysis, um, and I just I think it's brilliant. I hope that this is something that inspire people who listen to the music to tune in to their body sound, tune in what's going on in, their, in, in them, themselves, inside their body. Yeah.
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>